Anders Halverson's book, An Entirely Synthetic Fish, How Rainbow Trout Beguiled America and Overran the World, is a captivating exploration of the complex relationship between humans and the environment, as seen through the lens of one iconic species. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, Halverson delves into the history, biology, and cultural significance of rainbow trout, revealing the profound impact this fish has had on American society and ecosystems worldwide. Halverson begins his narrative by recounting the introduction of rainbow trout to American waters in the late 19th century. These fish were initially brought to the United States as part of an ambitious plan to improve the country's fish populations and create a thriving sport fishing industry. However, the unintended consequences of this endeavor soon became apparent, as rainbow trout rapidly outcompete native species and disrupted delicate ecosystems. Halverson skillfully weaves together historical records, scientific research, and personal anecdotes to illustrate how the seemingly innocent act of stocking non-native fish had far-reaching ecological consequences. One of the book's strengths is its portrayal of the various individuals and organizations involved in the introduction and propagation of rainbow trout. Halverson introduces readers to a cast of characters, from early fish hatchery pioneers to contemporary fisheries biologists, who all played a role in shaping the fate of rainbow trout in America. These characters come to life on the pages, adding depth and personality to the story. Through their experiences, readers gain insight into the complex motivations driving these individuals, whether it be a genuine passion for fish or a desire for economic gain. The author's research is extensive and thorough, as evidenced by the wealth of historical and scientific data woven into the narrative. Halverson expertly navigates the complexities of fisheries management and ecological science, making these topics accessible to readers without prior knowledge. He explains the nuances of fish stocking, genetic engineering, and the ecological impact of invasive species in a clear and engaging manner. This ability to distill complex concepts into understandable terms is one of the book's standout qualities. Halverson also shines a light on the cultural and social aspects of rainbow trout fishing. He delves into the emergence of fly fishing as a beloved American pastime and the role that rainbow trout played in shaping this tradition. By tracing the evolution of fishing tackle, techniques, and attitudes, Halverson underscores how the rainbow trout became a symbol of the American West and the pursuit of the pristine wilderness experience. The book is not just about fish, it's a reflection of changing American values and aspirations over the decades. Furthermore, an entirely synthetic fish raises important questions about our relationship with nature and the unintended consequences of our actions. Halverson prompts readers to consider the ethical and ecological implications of introducing non-native species into fragile ecosystems. Through the lens of rainbow trout, he highlights the broader issue of human intervention in the natural world and the challenges of balancing conservation with recreational pursuits. In conclusion, Anders Halverson's An Entirely Synthetic Fish is a thought-provoking and meticulously researched exploration of the impact of rainbow trout on American culture and ecosystems. Through a captivating narrative and a rich tapestry of historical and scientific information, Halverson effectively illustrates how the introduction of a single species can have far-reaching consequences. The book serves as a cautionary tale and a call to action, urging readers to consider the delicate balance between our desires for recreation and the preservation of the natural world. It is a compelling read that resonates with anyone interested in the intersection of ecology, history, and human behavior.